Good day, ladies and gentlemen. London Minds and Money today, again 2014, here in London. And I'm very happy I have a great interview partner here, Caledonia Mining. And Steve Curtis, the uh, new appointed uh, CEO, is here with me. Steve, thank you very much for taking the time. Good morning. <laughs> nice to see you again. First of all, some background about you to introduce you to our viewers. We, they, everybody knows uh, Mark Lemons, yes. of course, your new CFO. Yes. And uh, just some words about you. Right, um, I, I joined Caledonia in 2006 um, uh, as on the finance side as uh, CFO. Uh, I was appointed to the board in 2008, and um, yes, in the last 10 days, I've been uh, I've been appointed as CEO. Mm -hmm. So I've worked alongside <coughs> Steph Hayden, our previous CEO, for all that time, and um, got to know the the particular asset that, that we yeah. that we acquired. Um, I was born and raised in Zimbabwe, so I know Zimbabwe extremely well. Oh, really? that, so we can say you are Zimbabwean. I am Zimbabwean. Wow. I am Zimbabwean. Fantastic. Although I live in Johannesburg now. Okay. Um, yeah, I spent most of my time in in the finance world. Um, prior to to joining Caledonia, I did uh, I did run a German paper company in mm -hmm. South Africa, mm -hmm. specialty papers. And uh, prior to that, I was in the uh, stone crushing industry uh, for the for the aggregate sector. Mm -hmm. So you know, numbers are numbers. You can uh, you can apply them. Yeah. But I've uh, I've I've been in a number of roles, uh, both managerial and just pure yeah. finance. Yeah. But I must say uh, this is a this is an extremely exciting uh, business to be in, and especially that we've got such a good asset. Yes, yeah, uh, absolutely. A good time. Good asset. That's one of the keywords I want to yeah really touch in. You brought this morning, I think, uh, already your new PA out of uh, for the blanket mine, That's right. and I saw an IRR of 267 percent. So you are sure there's no mathematical incorrectness <laughs> or something? I've never seen this before. No, no. Um, <laughs> uh, we 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 are sure the number is right. Yes. Uh, it was inde <laughs> independently calculated. Yeah. Uh, we have had chats with a few other people who have been also modeling on us and they, they have also arrived at very, very good IRRs. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason that we're very comfortable with it is that we have looked at opportunities in Zimbabwe and in the Southern African region over the, over the last 15 to, to 18 months because um, we're a single operation and it would be nice to either diversify Mm -hmm. uh, into other commodities or yeah. other regions. Like a risk reduction also. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But we, we never found anything where the numbers mm -hmm. produced the return that mm -hmm. we could get knowing our own asset. Mm -hmm. the, biggest, the biggest advantage of the asset that we have is, uh, number one, it has got a metallurgical plant that has got excess capacity. We're using about a third of the capacity Ooh. of the plant. Wow. And it was developed from a big mining perspective mm -hmm. by, by, by uh, the predecessors who owned the mine, well thought out, well designed, and our previous chief executive spent an enormous amount of time and effort and fine-tuned that plant. So the advantage we have is that uh, we have got a, a processing plant that can just be fed. And what we're focusing now on is investment in developing the mine and the infrastructure of the mine going deeper and improving the logistics on the mine mm -hmm. and that's why we get the returns yeah, that, and, uh, and deep costs of course absolutely yeah, yeah. the mine is also very amenable uh, in the fact that going deeper is not going to add to to the cost in any any dramatic way and we are still relatively shallow in terms mm -hmm. of southern african mining absolutely yeah. um, and so we also understand that uh, blanket mine is very sensitive to production volume Mm -hmm. um, there's a high proportion of fixed costs and uh, volume just gives you the economies of scale. And Absolutely. all of that is now being demonstrated in these numbers that have been independently mm -hmm. calculated and verified. Yeah. And you really have started already to implement it, right? Yes, we have. Uh, the first stage uh, that is absolutely necessary is, is building the tramming loop at uh, 750 meters. Mm -hmm. Uh, that sorts out the logistics whereby we, we eliminate some of the bottlenecks where if we wanted to do development, you've got to move waste. Um, at the moment, that would have come at the detriment of production volume, which is what we don't want to do. So what we have started is the tramming loop, and as soon as that is done, we can handle all the extra extra waste that mm -hmm. will come from sinking the new shaft yep. without uh, jeopardizing any of the production volume. 
-hmm. So it's oh, a very fantastic. well thought out and uh, sequenced and planned uh, mm -hmm. development program over a manageable period of time. Mm -hmm. And will it also for the volume, uh, let's say, of your produced ounces, will it kick in already next year? We will have a, a fairly flat production profile in 2015 because we need to get, uh, we need to get the underground logistics in place. Mm -hmm. um, so we won't see anything dramatic next year at all. Uh, so you, you can sell between 40 and 45,000 ounces? Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, thereafter, it'll probably get closer to 50, mm -hmm. and then it jumps quite nicely up into the 60s, and then it goes mm -hmm. up to the 70s. And that's when, when the logistics are in place and we've got deeper and we've sunk the new shaft mm -hmm. and we've just opened up very many more working areas. Mm -hmm. One of our constraints at the moment is flexibility. Yep. Uh, all grades change. Mm -hmm. um, and we don't have the flexibility right now that we would like, um, but with the, with the housekeeping work that is being done at the moment, that flexibility will be created and that's where we'll see the benefits of increased volume. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. You already um, told your shareholders that you will at least pay until October 2015 this dividend. It might be understood that afterwards we don't know what is coming up, but I have a, a good feeling that this dividend will be kept, of course, because it's only $3.1 million yes. so far per annum. That's like, uh, yeah, I would, couldn't say nothing, but it's a really a low portion of uh, your profits you are generating. Yes. Um, what are your thoughts about 2016? and onwards because when I understand it right you will make a lot more profit yes a higher production yes lower costs so there's room for an increase maybe we we, we definitely recognize the value in the in the dividend yeah. and um, uh, we we have got a clear focus about uh, looking after shareholders mm -hmm. um, we have to be cognizant of the fact that we are price takers in terms of gold price and the gold price is volatile. Absolutely. So, we know that our treasury can afford uh, the dividend. It is well covered, eight times covered at current level with the cash that uh, Caledonia has. Um, we, are, we are being conservative in our, in our projections around, uh, around dividend. Uh, our yield of 8% is already very attractive. If that, if that yield got pushed higher and higher, we may look desperate. We may look like there's something wrong. So we, we will manage the cash. We yeah. recognize the shareholders want to get a return. Um, at the moment, we can self-fund everything we need to do. That's important. And that's very, really, really important for us. So that uh, we sh we're sharing in the development mm -hmm. costs of Blanket Mine. We will be looking after the Caledonia shareholders and the Blanket shareholders. Uh, but we will be, we will continue to be conservative in our projections around dividend policy. Perfect. And I'm sure you'll understand in the current Absolutely. environment. Absolutely, that's no question. That's what I was asking for. Fantastic. Yeah, then let's keep fingers crossed for next year. All the best uh, for Thank implementing you. your plan. And I would say after the independent uh, PEA, it looks outstanding. Now it's up to you to deliver the numbers. We have to deliver. <laughs> and I think what's nice is that, uh, that there's an absolutely clear focus. Yeah. Um, this is a big project. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than anything we've done at Caledonia and at Blanket Mine before. But we've got the right skills. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we are very, very, we're very positive and completely focused on one project because it's Perfect. in the best interest. Yeah. And who knows what comes in the future. Exactly. Because you generate a lot of money in the next years. Exactly. Great, Steve. Thank Lovely. you very much. Thank All you. the best. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was uh, Steve Curtis, the CEO of Caledonia Mining. Well, you heard it, 267% uh, IRR. That's uh, really outstanding. Honestly, in my career, I've never heard an IRR like this. So, yeah, it's up to them now to deliver this IRR and yeah, to make the best, as he said. Uh, they take care of the shareholders. They think about the shareholders. And uh, the dividend is already confirmed until end of 2015. And I think uh, afterwards we will see at least the same dividend and uh, maybe a higher dividend. We will see. And yeah, Merry Christmas. Thanks and bye-bye from London.